In America, one sport gives every Sunday new meaning. Football is national pride. And when it comes to the best, this is a game of homegrown talent. From some places, more than others. But one city has become the reigning hotbed, and it turns out NFL talent at an unrivaled rate. Miami, Florida is a breeding ground for superstars, a destination for recruiters, and it's full of neighborhoods that are defined by their rivalries in this game. But the biggest rivalry in this football-obsessed city isn't exactly big. Liberty City for the biggest football rivalry in Miami. But this is not high school or college football. This is the youth, the little kids. To put in the context the level of talent that comes from this area, I'm talking about NFL names like Antonio Brown, Devontae Freeman, Teddy Bridgewater, Duke Johnson. The path to the NFL, though, from this neighborhood, that's complicated. Football in the inner city is like a rite of passage. Half of these kids you'll see stars in the NCAA, probably about 30% of them will be in the NFL. That's why everybody around the country come to Miami, you know, to get real football players. It start right here. What's happening here that's not happening anyplace else? I mean, the competitive level starts at four years old. I mean, when you think about what they do in China with gymnastics right. at four years old, and the pick of the litter. I mean, major universities, they're gonna come down here and they're gonna look for the players. So we track our kids to make sure our kids getting the right grades, you know, uh, getting the tutoring, and getting the testing. Get the ball. Oh, baby! It's turning into a hit fest! We don't like them at all. The Warriors may have been the first Pop Warner program in this neighborhood, but they're not the only one. As other teams were born, so were rivalries. None compares to their crosstown beef with the Gwen Cherry Bulls. Around here, park loyalty breeds competition across every weight class. From the day you strap on a Warriors helmet and for the next eight years, you know you'll be playing Gwen Cherry. On parks where every kid is fighting for his future. This is the Pork and Bean Projects. It's one of the oldest projects in America. It's calm in the daytime, but it get turned up at night. You go through so much growing up. You got to fight. You might not eat. Your lights might get cut off. All we're doing is running the streets. So when it comes to football, it make it easy. We fast, we running on the field. You know what, now it counts. Just three years into his NFL career, Devontae Freeman has become one of the league's elite running backs. Starting as a park stud for the Warriors, breaking out at Miami Central High School, then Florida State, all the way to Atlanta, where he's a Falcons household name. That's the big game, man. But the early chapters of Devontae's story had a recurring theme shared by every kid in this neighborhood. 
He was this little short guy walking around with a limp. He wasn't the fastest. He wasn't the most talented one on the team, but he was the one that had the most heart. Some of the best talent come from the projects. Growing up in Miami, everybody think they're going to make it to the league. But at the same time, middle of the day playing football, a shootout a star in the middle of the day. And I could be in the house, shootout star. You know, he, he was dealing with a lot at home. You have to be grown into poverty, and that's why it's very difficult to get kids to transition from that. So if you catch one like a Devontae Freeman at 13 years old and say, you can be great. He knew I was the oldest of six. He knew I had to become something to get my family out of the situation they in. He done seen so many other kids with more talent than me that didn't make it, didn't even come close. Good evening, I'm Keith Jones. Hundreds gathering for a vigil and rally this evening to remember six-year-old King Carter. It was a crowd hundreds deep. In the same streets he was killed, the crowd marched a route he walked to school. Part vigil, part passionate rally for six-year-old King Carter, shot and killed last night at his apartment complex in Northwest Miami-Dade. The football thing is a, it's a real big thing because I ain't gonna lie, if you ain't doing music, you playing football. If you ain't doing music or playing football, you're doing something illegal. Very limited. And that's why the community comes out for all ages. All ages. My son started when he was three years old. He was the youngest kid on the park. With his wheel, with his helmet, with his shoulder pads, him running, he made me proud a lot of times. When my chick coming home from practice, I would practice, King. It was good. It was good? What you did in practice today? Okay, boom, Liberty City. It was a Saturday, and me and him was just chilling in the living room all day. He asked me for a dollar, I gave him three. The only reason, he went to his friend's house to take his friend to the candy store. It went like two minutes, he was outside. I heard shots, blum, blum, blum. So I just see the black Lexus zoom out the gate. So I'm looking, I'm running around. Y'all seen King? They're like, nah, I ain't see him. When I look this way, I see him laying on his back. I see him in the corner by himself. In a pool of blood, eyes wide open, already gone. $3 like this in his hand. He clutching on the $3. I went, It went crazy, man. Went crazy. I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Dear God, we come before you today humbly on this Saturday afternoon as the Boom Squad. We ask that you send grace and mercy upon our Optimus Club, our program, Lord. Not just the 75 A Club, but all pals, Lord. Gwen Cherry as well, Lord. We ask that nobody be hurt. We ask that it be nothing but peace and love around these kids, this youth football game, so that these kids can grow and potentially be NFL superstars or what may have you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Who are we? 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 Who we do it for? Who we do it for? Who got my back? Who got my back? Who got my back? Click, 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 Football is like the escape. It's a getaway for them. Monday to Saturday, 
It's a lot. It's stressful. But when it came to Saturdays, that was my only time to let it out. That's why we produce different type of athletes over there. 